Today I'm going to cover the rendering of a model of a silicon graphics ND case which I built up in Maya 6.5. During the course of the video I'm going to render the model in both the standard Maya software as well as Mental Ray. And when I render with Mental Ray I'm going to make use of the final gather feature to get ambient occlusion within the image. Okay, so I'm going to start off by opening up Maya 6.5. And now that it's loaded, I'm going to open up my model. Okay, and there it is. Before I get to rendering the scene, I'm quickly going to show you the model and articulate it just to show you what it consists of. I've got two indie cases as well as a one of the boards of the XZ graphic system which is within the indie. What I'm considering is rendering an entire indie, so I'm busy experimenting currently with the circuitry and bump mapping to see how accurately I can render the circuit boards. And from this image you will see that I haven't quite perfected it yet, so I'll actually have to build up some of the components with patches in order to get the proper topography of the board. I've also rendered an indie mouse pad in the scene as well. I'm quickly going to reload the scene just to get it back to the view that I want it in. It does take quite a while to load. Okay, now that it's loaded, I'm quickly going to cover some of the render global settings with you. Okay, the image which I have rendered before is 1280 by 1024, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to render it at 800 by 600 in order to save some time. Because especially when it comes to rendering with mental ray, um, when you render an image of this size, it takes over an hour to render. So I'm going to set it to 800 by 600. Okay, it's set to 800 by 600. And then I'm just going to go through some of the mental ray settings with you. Okay, I'm using anti-aliasing. The, the max sample level is 2. Okay, I'm using a triangular filter. And I, I do have ray tracing enabled. And with regards to the shadows, I have turned them on. And the final gather feature it is selected and the final gather rays I've got set to 100 okay so those are the settings that I've got for mental ray I'm now going to cover the Maya software settings with you okay again the image is now set to 800 by 600 and I'm using anti-aliasing I've set the quality to production quality Okay, the number of samples is 2, max shading 8. I do have multi-pixel filtering and it's also, again a triangular filter and I'm using the same settings as I'm using with mental ray. And with regards to ray tracing, okay, I do have ray tracing enabled and I've set the quality to 2. As I found with these images, if I set the quality higher, it takes longer to render but I don't really get a better output or not a noticeably better one anyway. So if you consider the length of time it takes to render versus the quality of the output, I would say just a setting of two is sufficient to render a pretty good image. Okay. Memory and performance options. Okay, so I've told it to use all available CPUs. Okay, so those are the Maya software settings. I'm just quickly going to go back to Mental Ray and cover memory and performance. Okay, and there we go. 
What you'll find as well is when I show you the different rendering options, mental ray takes a lot longer to render and it also doesn't really make as good a use of the system CPUs as the Maya software does. So at any given time, you'll really see it only rendering with two of the four available CPUs. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Maya software rendering. And here it goes. What I will do is I will speed the rendering process up in order to save some time. And what I'll do is I'll speed it up by 20 times. So you can see the ratio of time it takes to render the Maya software image versus the mental ray image. So here goes the Maya software image. I'm going to end the video off with two images that I rendered previously at 1280 by 1024 just to show you the differences between the Maya software rendering and the mental ray rendering. So this image that you're looking at at the moment is the Maya software image and this image is the mental ray image and take note of the fact that in this image you have ambient occlusion. This meaning that there are reflections within the environment and some of the color from the indie case for instance you'll see present in the shadows on the table that it's resting on. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.